Live from the Hamilton Ice Center here in Columbus, Indiana, we're ready for game nine of the season for the Cream and Crimson of Indiana University. This is club ice hockey at Indiana University. I'm Sam Wexler alongside Garrett Drake and our newest assistant to the team, Ben Stannard. Indiana coming in with a decent record. They've split the season so far, four and four and two and two in the TSCHL. Their opponents, the Ohio State Buckeyes, have a small sample size and have one win and one loss, splitting their opening games against the Cincinnati Bearcats. Garrett, what do you see from Ohio State so far? game of the year for the Buckeyes and currently they're one and one on the season so not a big sample size yet but I think we're going to see a good one here today as both teams are looking to get above the 500 mark. A little bit of miscommunication in the time schedule for this afternoon's contest so we didn't get a chance to do a pregame show but in the net for the Ohio State Buckeyes is Declan Rooney. He's played one game so far, allowed four goals on 40 shots, saving 36. That's good enough for a 90% save percentage and for the cream and crimson between the posts is Sammy Billis. Billis is three and three in six games as a starter, seven games played total and saves about 91% of the shots he sees. Indiana in their red sweaters and red bottoms from left to right, Ohio State in the gray tops and crimson pants from right to left. Head coach for Ohio State in his first season here is Chris Corcoran. Indiana swings the puck all the way to the near corner to the captain, Cesarski, with the brand new C stitched onto his sweater. Playing it back to the D, that's Kudish. Flicking it all the way forward, trying a little dump and chase. Hoy chases after it. He pushes Cesarski into the boards, and Michelli picks up the loose change on the far side in front of the Indiana bench. Flicking the puck, puck all the way across to Cesarski. Again, he's had his work cut out for him Early, Chambers digging in on the near boards. He pushes it into the neutral zone, and Indiana forces Ohio State to clear the line and clear the ice as they get five fresh skaters on. It'll be an icing, and it'll take place at the right-hand side of Sammy Billis back in the Indiana defensive side. Face off to the glove side of Billis. Won by Ohio State. They're dancing around in the near circle. Instead, Ohio State loses possession, and Indiana carries into the neutral zone. Quick whack at the puck off the stick of Caldiero. And Cesarski finds it, moving over toward McDonald in the neutral zone. He pushes for Kissel to go and get it right at the goal line. Kissel swinging around behind the cage. Drops a man. Cantonitti falls to the ice. And charging in to make a play on the puck is Brennan. Now Ohio State has a two-on-two -two the other way, taking some wax from behind. Wall took on, frame pushes it wide, and Indiana scoops it up, headed the other way. Here's Brennan on a rush. He's got numbers. It's a four-on-two. A quick weave in between the defensemen, and Ohio State stalls the attack. Caldiero trying to move it toward his teammate, Questel. Now toward Bone Cutter, who pushes it to Brennan. In front of the Indiana bench, that's McDonald, Dipsy doing around. A would-be attacker, and now Bonecutter knocked to the ice. We'll have a whistle as the referee on the near side of the play saw something we didn't. 17-19 to go here in the first period. No score for either side. Game's getting a little scrappy here early, Sam, as we're going to have matching minors as Matthew McKay got shoved into the Indiana bench on that one. We have another number change to report. Griffin Timmons wearing the number 18 sweater this afternoon. Indiana last weekend struggled against the Miami Red Hawks. They lost in Oxford 3-0, and then in this building the following afternoon 6-0. It was a very physical battle, Garrett, that we talked about at length for pretty much every minute of those two games. Quick shot on by Johnson, pushed away off the skate blade of Goodfellow. Digging into the corner, that's Olsen. Olsen can't find a teammate, instead a shot whisked toward frame, and O'Flaherty meets a challenger to push the puck far. 
Now to the far side to DiLorenzo. Tries to give and go with a Flaherty, but instead it's kicked away off the blade of Evanson. He tries to get a shot on, but fails to do so. Four on four at the moment as those matching minors are occurring. Ohio State on the attack with some extra space on the ice. There's Olsen who lines up a shot. It gets kicked away by Billis. He moves his right leg out, and it looks like there's some paraphernalia right, on the, right next to the right post for Indiana. We'll be interested to see what that is. Now Olsen lines up a lazy muffin of a shot that gets kicked away again by Billis. Half a minute to go on the matching four on four. DiLorenzo deflects the stick forward on the near side, right in the neutral zone. A pass the width of the defensive side for Ohio State. Goes over toward Aiden Simino. He trips up and goes onto his shin protectors, and Ohio State will scoop it up in their own end. 30 seconds to go here on the four on four. Still no score for either side as we are just over four minutes elapsed in the first frame of this contest. Simino takes the puck right across the red line. He's attacked from behind, now finds McKay on the far side. He tries to throw a shot on it, stuck between the leg pads. And another quick shot by Timmons goes wide. A scrum right next to the right side of the cage, loose puck pushed away by an Ohio State defenseman and flicked the length of the ice. And icing has been called. Indiana was knocking on the door right there. The first real scoring opportunity they've had in this one so far, and they currently lead the shot battle three to two. Last weekend, Indiana played a contest in which they won the hits battle but did not win either game or the shot totals. It's something to be proud of, though, for Indiana. They did hold the high-powered Miami offense to well under their average in terms of shots on goal per game. A quick shot just goes over the bar off the stick of Bonecutter. Cesarski slides into the near corner to find it, pushing it back to Bonecutter, who moves behind the cage again. Holds, waits for an option. Now Roulette wheels it down to Kissel who watches it glance off his stick. To Timmons in the far corner, now to Cesarski at the middle of the slot. Into the corner, bone cutter pinning a man, waiting for a teammate to come help. Cesarski has to backtrack as Ohio State takes control of the puck in the right circle. Again, McDonald doing the dirty work in the corner. He gets a cross check into the boards. Cesarski thinks about a shot, throws it through traffic, and it's kicked away out of play. 14.48 to go, five on five now as both teams get their skaters back from the sin bin. Still, neither team able to find the back of the net so far. In the two games they played, Ohio State has outscored their opponent, in this case, Cincinnati and Cincinnati, 2-1. to one. Here's Brennan Arister from the left circle, goes wide. Blocker save again by Rooney. Null working hard to win the puck, but instead it's chipped up off the glass and out of play next to the Ohio State bench. Whistle blown with 14 and a half to go here in the first. And looking at this Buckeye team, we see that they have yet to score a power play goal this season, so Indiana's penalty kill has been great as well. Those two things contradict each other, and it's going to be tough for Ohio State on the power play. Brendan throws a shot through traffic off the right leg of Vladislav Cruz, who's also got the Alternate captain A stitched onto his sweater. Rushing on the near side, that's Kudish. Kudish, the freshman from Geneva, Illinois, tries to get the attack going. No, finds the puck at the edge of his stick but loses his blade and it's knocked all the way over to Cantonitti. Now Null trying to make a rush happen, flicks at the width of the neutral zone. Here's Kruish, but instead it's called offside somehow and Kruish takes a bit of a whack after the play from Kudish behind the net. And so both sides will get a line change on with six minutes played so far in this game. Ohio State zero and the Cream and Crimson of IU zero. Shots on goal, not quite even, but instead a really quick breakaway. Here's Caldiero on a rush. He deeks, he shoots, and it's off the legs pad of Del Billis again. Billis almost loses it under his own leg, but instead it's pushed away. Scary situation from close range, Billis had all kinds of danger right in front of him and all kinds of traffic blocking it. Michelli trying to thwart the attack, but it's back over to Caldiero with the right circle. He moves in between defensemen. McDaniel flicks the puck forward to Michelli, who clears the blue line. Here's Simino on a rush. 
Here's Jeremy. He waits around a defender, holds, and tries to get a little bit of a toe drag, but instead the shot is into the chest of Rooney and whistled down. Pretty dangle by Jeremy right there, but the keeper was ready for the fake, and he toe dragged past the defender, but was just unable to get it in the net. Face off to the stick side, the right hand side of Rooney. Jeremy can't win the face off against Caldiero. Big scrum ensues behind the net. Michelli nearly goes head first into the wall on the short boards, but Ohio State bringing it out. Saucer puck goes straight into Cesarski's chest. He whacks it down with his gloves and pushes it the other way. Scooping it up is Olsen for Ohio State. Now to Timmons for Indiana in the near corner. Finding Cesarki, he lines up a shot that goes high and it's knocked away off the shoulder of Rooney. Michelli has the puck right next to the referee in the near corner. Now over to the half boards. Simino throws a shoulder into his man, trying to win the puck back. That's Haken Salt from Istanbul, Turkey, trying to avoid a hit. Now DiLorenzo on. His shot is through traffic and off a stick blade. Over to Cesarski again. Seems like Cesarski's always where the puck ends up, Drake. Yeah, we see Cesarski with the C on his pad, C on his jersey rather for the first time this year, and he's really showing why he earned that letter. Indiana still playing around with it in the attacking zone. Cesarski near point, throws a shot right on the ground, and it's pushed away. Scary deflection for Rooney. He didn't see it coming. That one nearly found the five hole on the bounce. Cesarski again finds it over at his stick, but it clears the blue line, and Indiana will have to regroup. Here's Simino on the near side, moving into the zone. He holds on to it, tries to get it to DiLorenzo, but Vineyard for Ohio State pushes it forward to Gold. Now toward Rupi, but he can't hold on to it either. Nearly halfway through this first period in the only game of what was supposed to be a two-game series. And another breakaway, Gold has it. Wrist shot, a glove saved by Billis from close range. Great shot and a better save from point blank. Another shot goes high and wide of the bar. Scooping it up is Quessel in the near side. Pushing it far to Brandenburg. Indiana has possession. DiLorenzo lets it go, and O'Flaherty chases after it, trying to make an attack off the counter. Puck goes all the way across. Billis scoops it up, and it is whisked forward, but an odd bounce sends it to Brennan of Indiana instead of Kissel. Bone cutter waiting for something to do with it. Lops it into the neutral zone, and Ohio State will have to regroup on their own side. Another break. Here's Bone Cutter. He doesn't quite know what to do with it. Had no one helping him, and he gets hit from behind onto his knees. Another one on three. Ohio State has a great break, but Billis flicks it away with the tape of his stick. Another shot for deflection from Clark. Does not find its target. Indiana still playing around with it in their own side. Goodfellow songs at the puck, and it's a giveaway. A quick one-timer missed off the stick of Hoy. He would have had a golden opportunity from the back post. Trouble still not out, and we have a delayed call as Indiana touches it up, and it looks like we'll have our first power play of the afternoon as Ohio State will have a five-on-four. Yeah, I think it was charging, maybe. It we'll have like to it, wait. It looked like a collision in the middle of the ice. 10.28 to go here in the first. Billis will have to be on his toes and keeping his eyes open with his side down a skater. Ohio State setting up an umbrella. That's Salt pushing it forward. Back to Salt at the top of the point. A quick deflection gloved out of midair by Billis off the deflection. A slick piece of leather work for Sammy B back in the cage. Sammy's been solid so far early. He's been getting tested on a couple breakaways, but he's still got a bagel on the scoreboard. 15 seconds gone in the five on four. Offenbach wins the face off, pushed it to Timmons, who tries to clear the puck and does move it into the neutral zone. We're halfway through the first frame. Neither side able to score. Ohio State through their first two games, averaging four goals a contest. On the attack, a quick shot right in front of the mouth of the goal. Going to his backside was Timmons. He'll keep up the pressure. 
Another hit along the boards. Di Lorenzo pokes at the puck. And now Timmons trying to knock it free. Cesarski pins it up along the short boards toward the right-hand side of Billis. Cesarski again gives a good cross check. Another shot right in front of the cage. Flicked away Offenbach. Backhands the puck all the way across the ice. And we're halfway through this five on four for Ohio State. Indiana this season has been pretty decent on the penalty kill. Escaping the five on four 85% of the time without allowing a score. This PK unit's only given up eight power play goals on the season, so they've done their execution about as good as you can do it thus far. Nine oh seven to go here in the first. Thirty nine seconds to go on the man advantage for the Buckeyes. Man in the box is Tommy McDonald, the freshman from Downers Grove, Illinois. Ohio State wins the faceoff, sets up the attack. Here's Waltuk right in front of the goal, and O'Flaherty emerges with it across the center circle. He's got a man with him. That's Simino. He has it in front of the cage, loses it off the backside of his stick, and Ohio State will scoop it up behind their own net. Rooney looking behind him, trying to find out where his defensemen are. 15 seconds to go on the penalty kill for the Cream and Crimson. Brandenburg takes his man on the near side, swiveling in toward the near corner. He wins the battle, and Simino throws the head of his stick at the puck trying to clear the line. Penalty is over, five on five, even strength. A quick shot from a sharp angle right in front of Billis. He can't fall on it. Finally, the puck knocks free, and we'll have an icing unless it's waved off. It is waved off. Offenbach beats his man there, and a dangerous play right behind the net. Offenbach fighting the goaltender, Rooney. He doesn't know where the puck is. Finally, Indiana stalled down, and Goodfellow gets knocked around at the blue line. Puck toilet bowled all the way over toward its intended target, Johnston, who's dispossessed by Vladislav Cruz, who nearly goes into his own bench. A lot of pushing and shoving, and somebody has lost a stick. 7.53 to go here in the first, and we are scoreless. Shots on goal have started to even out. It's seven to six in favor of Indiana, but the hits do favor the Buckeyes. Seven and three-fourths of a minute to go. Indiana winning the faceoff in their own side. Michelli pushes it forward toward Jeremy. He's got Chambers with him, but he gets pushed off the puck instead. Timmons moving to the near corner to try and find the puck. And Chambers stalls his man out, finding the puck in no man's land. All the way forward to Michelli at the left circle, but it's an offside. Indiana getting a little bit jumpy, trying to get the attack started. Yeah, the bouncing puck found its way into the attacking zone, but unfortunately, Indiana just didn't have a player touch up there, and the attack is waved off. Face off to our near side in the neutral zone. Cesarski finds the puck for Indiana, pushes it all the way forward, spinning it around as Rooney climbs out of the crease to find it. Michelli collects it at the far corner, pushes it to Cesarski at the middle of the slot. Shot through traffic, goes over the corner and away as Chambers pushes it toward Timmons on the far side again. Indiana can't get the attack started. And now Michelli gets pushed off the puck by the big man, Ebersole. Quick opportunity, still scoreless, 14 minutes through this first period. Questel throws a shot right along the ice, and the puck bounces in front of Indiana's net, their bench. Now toward Jeremy, weaving around with Chambers. He sets up, holds, throws a shot on, it's into the leg of an Ohio State skater, and now Brennan lines up a shot that wobbles all the way right past Rooney's leg again. Not a whole lot of quality looks in this first period. Now Jeremy chasing after it, Pushes it back toward the attacking side as Rooney gets caught out of his crease again. Offside waved off. At the back post is Kissel, but he didn't see the pass coming. And instead, Ohio State will have a counterattack of their own. One on two. Now over toward Olsen, who waves in and can't push the stick in the right direction. 
Good stick lift from Indiana's defenseman. As now McKay goes tearing around the backside toward Bonecutter, who just chips the puck into the zone so he can get a fresh pair of legs out for him and his D partner. McKay sends one Buckeye into the boards. And now it's a one on two, two on two. As Ohio State dances with it, Billis throws the paddle at the puck and pushes it up out of play. 5.35 to go in the first. Indiana has allowed just under four goals on average this season and are scoring about three and a quarter. That number obviously reflects last weekend's drubbing by the Miami Red Hawks. In a yeah, getting, getting shut out in two consecutive games isn't going to help the stat sheet, especially when you're giving up three or four goals in each of those. Although, Garrett, selfishly, it makes tracking these stats for Indiana a little bit easier for us. Same game track as last week. You know how it goes. Here comes Simino on a chase. He dangles around one defenseman, tries to go in on Cage, and he's thrown to the ice. Indiana keeps the attack going. O'Flaherty in the near corner, lets the puck go through his own legs. Now to DiLorenzo, who flicks it back toward Goodfellow at the far point. Puck wibble wobbles right in front of the cage and pushed away here. Ohio State breaks out on the attack. To the far side, Goodfellow lets the skater go by him. Puck on the near corner, collected by Caminiti. His shot goes off the bottom of the boot of McDaniel, who's now in some hand-to-hand -hand combat on the near corner. There's Hubbard moving in. His shot gets pushed away. Under five to go in the first period. Neither side able to break the deadlock. Barrett McDaniel, almost always one of the smallest guys on the ice, but makes up for it in how hard he plays and how physical he is when it comes to getting the puck out of his own defensive side. Barrett McDaniel is one of those defensemen who just does it all for Indiana. He's always in there scrapping, getting low, trying to get the puck out, and he's been doing a great job of that so far today. 4.20 to go here in the first period. Goose egg is up on the board. Face off to the glove side of Sammy Billis, won by Indiana. They'll try to play it out of trouble as Null moves it forward. He sidesteps a defenseman and lets the other winger carry on the attack. Not a whole lot of great scoring opportunities for either side. Tazarski finds the puck at the face off dot in center ice. Now Offenbach turning tail and weaving in again. He gains the line, but is pushed down onto his knees. Cesarski flicks again across, and now a breakaway. Here's Floyd all by himself. He gets tripped up at the center circle, pardon me, the right circle, and Chambers moves it forward across the red line. A little bit of a chip right in toward Rooney, a weird deflection. He has to whisk it away from himself. Three and a half to go in the period. Jeremy pokes at the puck viciously, and now it's gold on another breakaway. He turns around trying to find a partner, but Brandenburg collects it and moves it away. Indiana. Well, that looks like an offside has been called with 3.18 to go here in the first. Garrett, I was about to say, Indiana has managed to clear the blue line every time Ohio State has gained it. And it seems like it's a back and forth game in every sense. Neither side able to set up. Yeah, it really has been, and the shots are dead even at eight apiece so far. So. Neither team really able to gain an edge thus far. Shots are back to he even, as are the hits. Face off at center ice with three and a quarter to go. Won by Jeremy for Indiana. To Chambers, who whacks at the puck and sends it squibbing all the way into the near corner on the attacking half of the ice. Scrum ensues behind Rooney's cage. And he leans over to cover it with three and a tick to go here in the first. The only aspect that Indiana's really been able to separate themselves in so far is the face-off battle, but that has been the story all season. They've been great in the circle. Indiana averaging 33 shots per game. As now it's a two-on-two -two rush. Puck deflecting across center ice oh. and the puck nearly crossed the blue line. So Ohio State Again, missing an opportunity to go in on goal, just as we talked about, Garrett. Yeah, the officials missed a clear offside right there as well. Ohio State still had a man down on the near boards towards us when the puck went on the other side towards the neutral zone and back over. They just missed it. Nice 
Face off in the left circle in Indiana's defensive half. Bone cutter net mugs himself and pushes the puck forward. Instead, McKay is spun down after blowing a tire. No call as Chambers cedes possession to Bone Cutter fighting the puck in the near side. Puck rolls all the way across to Kissel right in front of the scorer's table. He takes a shoulder from a Buckeye and keeps going. Just over two minutes to go in this first 20 minute period. Again, possession won and lost in the neutral zone. McKay moves forward but without the puck as Ohio State finds it at the blade of their stick. Now forward to Waltuck again. He gets caught from behind, no call, and Billis is able to push the puck away. Timmons finds it, now back over towards Simarusti. He tries to spin around but is unsuccessful and loses the puck. Poking at it, that's Kissel, who's able to clear the blue line for Indiana's defensive efforts. Now Timmons moves around. He gets hit hard at the blue line and ends up on his right shoulder. DiLorenzo flicks the puck forward and we're now 90 seconds remaining in this opening period. Puck sailing through the air and backhanded up and out of play by Clark, so a whistle blown with 125. We've seen both teams flying up and down the ice, getting into the attacking zone on either side, but so far the shots are still dead even, and we've been unable to get a puck in the net on either side. One twenty-one to go, zeros on the board. Indiana still can't clear it out. And now moving over into the neutral zone. A quick spin around by Ebersol. He retreats before attacking and instead Brandenburg finds the puck toward McDonald right in front of the scorer's table. 60 seconds remaining in this opening period. McDonald trying to fight for the puck and wins it. Now moving to Offenbach at the left circle. Brennan slams his body up against the short glass and pokes at the puck. 40 seconds remaining, one more rush. Delayed by Indiana. Ohio State can't get the breakout going either. Puck gets thrown all the way across behind Billis. And Indiana moving the puck into the neutral zone again. Questel gets driven into the boards, and Goodfellow scoops up the puck, moving into the neutral zone. Icing is going to be called, although it's now waved off by the official on the far side. Ten seconds to go as Goodfellow chops at the puck at center ice. Jeremy dancing around with it, and it looks like that's how this first period will come to a close. Zeros on the board, Indiana and Ohio State, scoreless through 20 minutes. We'll be back with you at the end of the first intermission. For Garrett Drake and Ben Standard, I'm Sam Wexler. This is Club Ice Hockey at Indiana University on the Indiana Hockey Broadcast Network. <laughs> 